SF Indie Fest is back. It kicks off Thursday. They're celebrating 25 years. More than a dozen countries are represented, but 34 films are local. That includes Circus of the Scars, directed by Chicory West, who lives in San Francisco. It documents a sideshow act as it rose to fame in the 90s, but it didn't last. You know, it was kind of this mini rock star thing happening. It's everything you'd associate with rock bands was going on. I know a lot of those guys have problems, but that's on them. It's been 30 years, let it go. Whew. That last voice you heard is the main reason the film was made. So joining us live to talk about all this, one of the stars of the sideshow, Zamora the Torture King. Zamora. The, Here I am. Hello. Okay, well, first of all, for those of us not familiar, what did Zamora the Torture King get involved in? Well, I'm called the Torture King because I do things that should cause pain, should cause injury, hopefully survive with minimal pain and minimal injury, putting skewers through my body, it would move uh, where I was going through the cheeks and the dermal circuit side, go in one side, out the other, eventually going through the muscle tissue in the mouth, out under the chin, Oh, uh, walking on broken glass, eating fire, and all of this uh, night after night with, as I said, minimal pain, minimal injury, and all in the name of entertainment. How did you get involved in that? Did you I wake read up about it when I was very young? I can do this. And actually, a book on magic tricks, but it also had the accounts of people in uh, in other countries, India and places like that, like bed of nails and swallowing swords. And I found that more fascinating because it was the real thing. It wasn't smoke and mirrors. It was uh, actually they were actually doing it. And it was kind of punk rock was uh, something I was interested in, and monster movies, and it all fit in with. But it was a lost art, something that used to happen on fairgrounds, but it was not really happening. It was just something I could read about. And eventually I began to do, do research and reproduce some of these uh, lost feats, uh, which are very dangerous. Don't try it at home at school or at the office. So tell me about the, the film that you are in. When, was, when was, is the footage from? What era is it of your life? The Jim Rose Circus Sideshow really came together in about 1991. Uh, a bunch of people in Seattle, we had similar interests. It was pretty unique. We got together, we put together a show, and uh, we toured a little bit. We got picked up, the big deal, on Lollapalooza in 1992, and that really put us over the edge and kind of took the uh, classic sideshow feats from the fairground and put them into venues where uh, rock and roll acts would play. And it became the kind of the first the rock and roll sideshow kind of uh, re, uh, rejuvenated the whole uh, sideshow and kind of give us, you see this still to this day, people are doing this in places with uh, rock festivals and bands. That kind of the start of it. And uh, kind of chaotic. There's a lot of footage from, uh, this is, I said, early 90s, from, uh, camcorder footage, all kinds of things that you might not have expected to be caught on video or in, or in here. So Zamora, uh, it's the, I can uh, imagine that in addition, I mean, we're seeing all of the Circus of the Scars kind of acts that are happening on stage, but then backstage is what none of us were privy to until now. So was there a lot of drama with this group? Uh, there was um, some drama. A bunch, a bunch of us uh, kind of got, uh, you'll, you'll see in the film, uh, there was some, uh, some of us left the show because of internal drama. There was, uh, people stayed on a little bit longer but eventually things kind of collapsed on themselves. And uh, the very original show was quite unique. And, uh, and we'll show you, it was like, as I said, it, it so showed you in, in the preview there, it was kind of like rock and roll, but uh, without the instruments. So very, very unique time. What does, Zamora, what does a person who has done all this to their body and toured the country and led that rock and roll sideshow lifestyle do after it? Well, here's the thing. Uh, some of us in the show, we're kind of, uh, you know, I've got this intellectual, if I could say that side, but I've always had all kinds of weird information. And I had a, a fan before I did the side show. I had a photocopied fan scene about weird information, weird science, things like that. Uh, and I continued interest in that when we were touring, I would research uh strange facts and in fact i live here in las vegas now i'm the co-author of the book weird las vegas which was uh on, on major book publisher was on sale at uh, barnes and noble and places like that so i'm i'm reading i'm writing 
but I'm not doing very strange things to my body. <laughs> okay, you're giving your body a break, but you are doing strange things to your body in this movie, Circus of the Scars. For tickets and much more about the festival, you can head to sfindy.com. Zamora, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me on. We'll be right back.